The story went something like this. I was at the coffee shop and there was this high school kid sitting next to me with his girlfriend. And his girlfriend was just ragging him out, right? Being so rude to him, being so mean to him, just criticizing him, just, just talking all this nasty stuff to this young gentleman. And the funny thing was, I knew this young gentleman, his name is Zen, and I had became friends with him maybe like a month earlier at the same coffee shop because he cycles and I cycle. So I wanted to tell that guy, hey buddy, this is not the right girl for you. You know, you need to leave this woman because she's very, very toxic. The way she talks to you, the way she just is bashing your self-esteem, your self-image. But I didn't say that because it wasn't my, my place to be. So fast forward a little bit, maybe three weeks later, this same exact girl is now dating another guy right in front of this Zen, right? And she's constantly trying to make him jealous. So Zen is at the coffee shop and he's doing his work. And then she comes in with a different guy. Like every other week, she has a different guy, right? She comes in there and sits right next to him and just like tries to make him jealous and mad. And Zen, which is the high school kid, literally takes debate every time. And, and, I, and I wanted to go and tell him something. So the other day I was cycling to the coffee shop and I saw the kid, you know, walk into the coffee shop too. So I rolled up to him and said, what's up, Zen? How are you? He says, pretty good. I said, man, I noticed just the other day where your ex-girlfriend came to your table with her new boyfriend trying to make you jealous and you, and you took the baits in. I noticed that she got very, very upset. As soon as she sat down and you got up, you packed your bags and you, and you stormed out of there. And I, and I looked at him and said, Zen, no gay stuff, man. You know, you're a very good looking guy because he is a good looking guy. How do I know I'm a good looking guy? And I know that, you know, what good looking guys look like because women are always throwing themselves at, at us. And this kid's out in high school and, you know, you, you have women at my age throwing themselves at him. And I told him, hey, Zen, you're a good looking guy, bro. This is a blessing that this girl has left you. This is a blessing that you just see what kind of crazy women are out there. This is a blessing that you see that, you know, the girl you really like uses you and abuses you and then the next week she's with a different guy and the next week she's with a different guy and the next week she's with a different guy she's trying to do everything she can to hurt you and i said zen don't go for the bait brother man don't don't for go for it say thank you god that this girl is out of your life and say thank you god that you get to see how vicious how scandalous some of these women are or people are in general Right, Zen? And I said, man, look, dude, you, you, you know, you're a good looking guy. You can have so many different women, but you're, you're getting pissed off over this stanky bitch, right? Um, that's disrespecting you the other day, um, telling you all kinds of stuff that hurt your self-esteem. Then she disrespects you with just instantly breaking up with you and dating three other men, constantly flaunting, flaunting them right in front of you. I said, man, Zen, you're way better than that, brother. You know, you, you can, you, you are way better than that and you deserve way more. And, you know, the guy was just like, just shocked, you know? And, 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 and I think that God put me in this place to let this kid know because this kid is a very, very smart kid. Uh, I talked to him before and he wants to be a physicist. And I mean, he's a very, very intelligent kid. Um, and I think he comes from a hardship family. You know, his dad works all the time. He's a truck driver. His mom is a stay-at-home mom. And, you know, the guy cycles like a crappy bicycle. It doesn't like he doesn't have like a great bike or anything like that. So, you know, somehow I – something told me inside that I should try to contribute something to this kid, right? And so um, I told him these two things, man. I said, hey, brother, man, you know, leave this stinky bitch, right? Learn your lesson that some people are going to be so evil that they're going to constantly hurt you even after you break your relationship, right? And you have to respect yourself and be able to walk away from that. And I also tell them, Zen, brother, what you need to do is hit the gym, bro, because like the gym has changed my life. Thanks to Arnold in sixth grade, I started working out and it literally like changed my whole life, my perception, where I was heading to. And I tell them, brother, you, you know, instead of feeling all these blues, you know, these emotions because you're going through this breakup and, this, and your stinky hoe is just dating three different guys back to back and trying to flaunt them in front of you. Instead of feeling all that negative energy, you need to transform your body. You need to go to the gym and, and start hitting the weights, man. I'm not sure if he's going to do that or not, but I feel like, you know, God put me in this place to be able to be observant and be able to translate this message to this kid because I think he's a very good kid. I think that he's very, very smart and I think he's gonna have 
bright future in front of them. But having shitty people like that in your life can truly destroy your destiny. And I didn't want that to happen to the kid. And that's why I took the, the courage and the balls to go up to him like, hey, dude, I'm sorry I noticed all this shit. Here, here's my two cents and, and hit the gym, brother. So I, I hope he really takes up you know, on the gym part because it's going to revolutionize his life. I really hope that he really learns from this stinky girl that, you know, women or the opposite. You know, some people are just so fucked up, man, that they come from such a broken families uh, or so, so much. They're just broken, right? That when you're around them, they're going to make you broken, right? Uh, and it's very important to realize that. And this is something that I didn't know in my own life, right? And now I've learned my lesson. And therefore, I wanted to reach out to this high school kid named Zen and say, brother, you know, don't be making the same mistakes that I have. You know what I mean? Because the wrong woman can literally destroy you and the right woman can literally lift you. And I have the honors to have the experience of both women. When I had my first wife was someone that helped me build me to where I was. And my second partner was someone that put me on the street, you know, uh, someone that didn't work for 10 years. And I spent every ounce of money that I had into her. And then she just took my kids, put me on the street without, a, without even a 10 minute notice, man. Right. So I got to, I'm very lucky to be able to experience both the doubles, right? The, the, the one on the on sand and one on the other sand. And I'm very, very lucky. And then I wanted to pour my experience in this kid named Zen because I feel like he has a bright future, right? He's a very, very smart kid, uh, good looking kid. And I think he has a bright future in front of him because he can get any woman he wants and he can, have, and he can be anything he wants to be in life. And by, Cutting off bad influences will allow him to, to be his dream. And, and I felt like God put me in a situation where I had to step up and put my two cents into to a kid that I don't really know and let him know everything's going to be okay, brother. Hold your head up. Hit the gym. Fuck that bitch. You'll get a better one. Peace.